Hi, today we're going to be talking about getting started with guided access, which is an accessibility feature available on the iPad. So guided access is used to keep a user in a certain app when you want them there. This is helpful because sometimes if you're using a communication app such as LAMP, which is on the screen right now, your student might either on purpose or accidentally X out of this app. Um, and we want to be able to keep them in it so that they can use it for communication. So let's figure out how to get guided access started and then we'll talk specifics about how to disable certain parts of the screen. I'm going to head over to settings on my iPad. Guided access can be found under accessibility, which is the, the white man in the blue square. It's highlighted here on my screen. Guided access is down under general. So I click on Guided Access. On this iPad, it's already turned on, it's showing green. But if yours isn't on, it would be gray. You would touch that button to make it green. Next, I would click on Passcode Settings. Set Guided Access Passcode. And what I usually set is 123456. That way, um, it's easy for everyone on the students team to remember, um, staff in the classroom as well as people at home. But you can set it to whatever you and the team decide. We're good to go with turning guided access on, so I'll head back into the app that I would want my student to um, stay in. So in this case, I'm doing it with LAMP, but it works with any communication app, or really any app on the iPad. To turn guided access on, you triple click the home button. So I am going to click it three times quickly. One, two, three. Now on this iPad, switch control is also on an accessibility um, with this shortcut. So um, this popped up, but if you don't have switch control on on your iPad, um, guided access will usually just come right on. Today I'm going to click guided access. It'll take you to this screen, um, and now is where I'll disable different parts of the screen. So up in that blue bar at the top on the lamp screen, you can see vocab and menu. Usually I disable those with guided access because I don't want the student accidentally getting into different settings, um, different vocab builder stuff, or even accidentally switching vocabs, or even deleting a vocabulary, which can be really problematic. So what I'll do, um, in the, at the very bottom of the screen, it says circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. That's what I'll do now. I'm going to circle that word vocab. It grays it out. And I'm going to circle that word menu. It's going to gray that out too. Now, if that is a little bit visually distracting for your student and you think that that being gray might actually draw their attention to it more, you could gray out the entire blue bar um, by just making a square, or a long rectangle, I should say, across the entire blue bar. That way it's less, um, less noticeable as being different from the blue. There's no contrast there. It would all be gray. What I'll do now is click Start. It says Guided Access is Started. Now, just to show you, if I was going to try to click on vocab, see how it's a little bit grayed out? Um, I'm trying to click it right now and it won't select. But other areas of the screen are still active. If I wanted to say go, go, I still can. Menu, same thing. It's grayed out, so when I'm trying to click it at the moment, it will not click. Which is helpful for um, keeping students just focused on their communication. Now, um, also, if I was to exit or attempt to exit, by hitting the home button, guided access is enabled, pops up across the top, making sure that the student remains in the targeted application. Now to turn guided access off, just like when I was turning it on, I will triple click the home button, pressing it three times quickly. The passcode thing will pop up. I'll enter my passcode, which for this case is one, two, three, four, five, six. Guided access screen pops up. I can just click end. Guided access is ended and now I can click the home button to exit out of the app just as I would have before guided access was enabled. I hope this was helpful.